Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Welcome to the So Japanese Podcast, a podcast about all things Japan from a Japanese and foreign perspective. We are your hosts. My name is John. My name is Ruske. Thank you for joining us today. Arigato. Today's podcast is yet another、uh, listener suggestion.、Mm-hmm. Kind of. It is, but、um, I hope this satisfies your suggestion. <laughs>、mm-hmm. But、uh, we're going to do. Music styles that are so Japanese. Yep.、Uh, it's hard to. We wanted to put like clips or snips of music、mm-hmm. into the podcast yep. today. Yeah. But、um, we don't want to infringe on any copyrights.、Mm-hmm. So,、um, what we're going to do is in the podcast description, we're going to write、um, some of the artists or songs of. Every genre we talk about,、mm-hmm. and、um, you guys can、um, search for the songs yourself if、yep. you're interested. Yep.、Um, just so we don't get banned on anything.、Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> All right. And then、um, we're going to have a Pera Pera Onomatope segment,、mm-hmm. musical instrument edition. Nice. Fitting for today's episode. Nice. So we just chose some styles that、uh, we thought maybe not everyone knows about,、mm-hmm. and then some styles that are popular, very popular.、Right? Yep. So the first one、mm-hmm. is、um, one of the oldest ones,、mm-hmm. really traditional,、mm-hmm. and that is called Gagaku. Gagaku. Yep. So it's an ancient Japanese ritual type music, and it comes with、like, dancing,、mm-hmm. right? So apparently, it came from the Chinese continent and the Korean peninsula、uh, during, the, during 400 BC, so really old.、Mm-hmm. And、um, yeah, it was established during the Heian period. Heian period. And、yep. it's said to be the oldest orchestra music in the world.、Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Interesting. So,、um, how does it sound like? It sounds like. It's like if you guys know about kabuki. Okay. And it sounds like that. So it's like old style drums and then old style. It's called shamisen. It's like a guitar、mm-hmm. type of、uh, instrumental.、Mm-hmm. And also the, how to say, it, the recorder type, type instrument. Type, yeah. yeah. So they have wind r- instrument, percussion instruments,、mm-hmm. using traditional Japanese instruments, but like in an orchestra. Yep. And、Without, yeah. So, what's unique about it,、mm-hmm. it doesn't have a conductor. conductor, right? Yeah. And again, it comes with dancing.、Mm-hmm. So, if you guys can imagine kabuki theater type music,、mm-hmm. this is it. Yep. And、uh, who would you say listens to this type of music? I would say、uh, high, star- uh, high status people. And, but these days, it's getting popular for more. Regular people. Okay. But these songs are for more like an emperor. Okay. Yeah, like for parliament. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, high status people.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, who are some, or what are some songs?、Uh, most famous song is called E Ten Lak. E E Ten Lak. Yeah. And, and then the famous artist is Hideki Togi. And then.、Uh, Sukeyasu Shiba. Okay, so、mm-hmm. with every genre, sorry, I should have said this in the beginning, but for every genre we're going to talk about, we're going to touch on a bit about the history, how it started,、mm-hmm. what it sounds like.、Mm-hmm. We're going to do our best to describe what it sounds like,、mm-hmm. um, who listens to it,、mm-hmm. and、um, again, we're going to tell you some popular、uh, songs or artists that artists, you guys can、yeah. search.、Mm-hmm. Okay, the next one is、yep. Enka. Enka. Enka、yeah. to me is like the most Japanese sounding traditional music. I think so too. Is it、Enka、even that traditional? I guess it yeah, is. Yeah. It is traditional, it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I never heard any, any other country singing like this way. Right?、Mm-hmm. So apparently, Enka、mm-hmm. started in the Meiji period.、Mm-hmm. And I think back then, all music sounded like Enka music.、Mm. So it started in the Meiji period. 1868 to 1912.、Mm-hmm. Obviously, because it's 
what music is mm -hmm. back then, it's been influenced by Western culture a lot, um, such as like jazz has influenced it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, very so Japanese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how it sounds like. Mm -hmm. um, so it's based on the pentatonic scale. Mm -hmm. So I guess the closest thing would be like blues. Yeah. And it's um, some people say it's like Japanese ballad music. Ballad music. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. Sad. Like very mellow, mm -hmm. slow, mm -hmm. and yeah, like sad. Right. Mm -hmm. But it some of them are like more up. Okay. Beat, okay. But yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, who listens to it? Uh, like old people, like okay. our parents' age. Okay. Like my dad loves when I was driving his car. He has like so many Enka music on his uh, audio system. Okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, maybe the older generation mm -hmm. is really popular. Mm -hmm. I think whenever I hear this, I think of like um, Japanese snack bars. Yep. So again, what are Japanese snack bars again? It's like a small uh, neighborhood bar okay. owned by old lady mama. Yeah. So... Uh, they're always in the uh, in a counter bar, mm -hmm. and a customer set uh, at the counter, mm -hmm. and then there's a karaoke machine. Mm -hmm. So mama and then customer sing uh, sing enka together. Yes. Yeah. Well, every time I've walked by a snack bar mm -hmm. or even been, mm -hmm. you hear enka music. Yeah. That's what they sing there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, snack bars. Is it like um, kiabakura? uh yes and no right you like, can have you pay for drinks for mm -hmm. company right mm -hmm. but because kebakula you normally get the the hostess or even host mm -hmm. beside you mm -hmm. so basically one by one yeah but snack bar is like there's a mama and maybe one or two more assistant mm -hmm. and then they will serve you alcohol and then entertain you okay so basically singing karaoke together or just talking with you do they like pour drinks and light your cigarette as well? Yeah. Okay. They make a drink for you. Okay. Yeah. And I feel like uh, snack bars are one of the rare for care in terms of karaoke. Mm. It's one of the places in Japan where you sing in front of others. Yeah. Right. Most of the time you think karaoke in Japan, you have your private room. Exactly. Karaoke box. Yeah. Right. So snack bars is more like, I guess, Western style karaoke where you sing in yeah, front of people yeah, yeah. openly. Mm -hmm. um, what are some, I, I would say to our listeners, please search some of these Inca songs that mm -hmm. we're going to tell you mm -hmm. just because yeah. you get a good idea of how the sounds like. And yeah. it's so Japanese. So Japanese. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and the song and the artist, mm -hmm. uh, the song is, Amagi Goe and Tsugaru Kaikyo Fuyugeshiki by Sayuri Ishikawa and Yosaku by Saburo Kitajima. They are two big artists for okay. Enka. Yeah. Again, don't worry if you didn't catch it. We're mm -hmm. going to write these songs in the episode description yep. for you to search. Yep. The next so Japanese music genre mm -hmm. is one of our favorites mm -hmm. right yeah. currently i would say it's like a top five musical genre for me mm -hmm. and that is city pop city pop yeah mm -hmm. when uh we got johnny ha mm -hmm. um to make the music for yeah um, our, our podcast yeah. Our opening and yeah. all the segment music yeah um we told them to do something make city like pop a city pop yeah, yeah. so I guess that's a good idea for you guys if mm -hmm. you haven't heard of it. But mm -hmm. it's so popular now, I think you've heard of it. So yep. it started in the late 1970s, mm -hmm. peaked in the 1980s. Mm -hmm. But recently, because of TikTok and anime, mm -hmm. it's become really popular. Yep. I think a few city pop songs are like trending on TikTok even still. Mm -hmm. um, how it sounds like. R&B-ish, funky, mm -hmm. boogie mm -hmm. type music. Mm -hmm. um, super 80s feel to it. Yeah. Maybe I like city pop because also a lot of the songs um, are in English or have 
English I fits. See. I see. And even the song titles. Mm-hmm. A lot of the song titles are It's English. English. So yeah. you can tell, like, when City Pop started, mm-hmm. they were really influenced by, like, 80s North America, North right? American music. Yeah. 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 Um, who listens to it? Well, these days, it's for young people, like, who loves, like, cool type of music. Mm-hmm. And because uh, for them it sounds like vintage music. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, and yeah, millennials. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then, but I thought, because when I was young, when I watching anime, a lot of uh, music it's city pop. Okay. So when I was kid, city pop like sounds like city pop. It's kind of like dasai. Okay. It's kind of like mm-mm. So dasai is like lame. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Not yeah. cool. No cool. Okay. Because on that time it's still in a way it's new right okay okay you know what i mean yeah but now what i even listen to city pop now because it's cool yeah it's kind of like turn back so music is like fashion exactly right exactly yeah all right yeah city pop Mm -hmm. really popular popular now if you haven't heard city pop before Mm -hmm. please check out these three songs Mm -hmm. uh mayonaka no door Stay with me by Miki Matsubara mm-hmm. and Plastic Love by Maria Takeuchi and Windy Summer by Anli. Mm-hmm. Mm. I feel like the um, album covers mm-hmm. of City Pop mm-hmm. look super cool too. That's cool too. Yeah, right? the art. Yeah. Yeah. Super cool. Super cool. So, yeah. City Pop, one of our favorite genres. Please check it out if you haven't. Mm-hmm before mm-hmm. the next one we have j-pop j-pop so just popular poppy music yeah right yeah uh how did it start so j-pop start uh there was a radio station called j-wave in 1980s mm-hmm. and in 1987 one of the guy who's managing this uh radio station they only play western music so okay. like English music. Okay. But then he started saying that like, why don't we choose some Japanese song as well? But okay. sounds like more westernized. Uh huh. And then they start picking all those cool sound Japanese music, mm-hmm. and he wanted t- he invented that uh, name as J-pop. Okay. But it didn't get popular until 1993 when uh, J-rig, which is Japanese football league start mm-hmm. and the j league the name getting popular so that means j uh j pop also getting Anything more j. yeah popular and then people start using the word j pop j pop j pop okay yeah. so i feel like nowadays like anything with j in front of it mm. means japanese yeah right yeah pretty much yeah so um how it sounds like in mm-hmm. the beginning, when it first started, mm-hmm. it was like really influenced by the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. Mm-hmm. So like not super rocky, mm-hmm. but rock. Yeah. But nowadays, I feel like J-pop is the music of like idol group music. Yeah. So yeah. very poppy, poppy upbeat, upbeat. Um, no too fast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But like really produced. Mm-hmm. electronic sounding mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. um who listens to it well everyone everyone right but it used to be uh very popular in the uh, southern east asian as well mm-hmm. like hong kong taiwan yeah like i remember um going to hong kong as a kid mm. the country was obsessed with anything japan like J-pop. Japanese dramas, mm-hmm. J-pop, oh, right? even drama. Even mm-hmm. like when I first moved to Thailand, mm-hmm. it was still like a lot of the um, music and mm-hmm. like movies. It was mm-hmm. really popular to watch Japanese stuff. Mm-hmm. But now I feel like it's all Korean stuff now. K-pop. Yeah, K-pop has yeah. definitely taken over. It makes sense. It's right? cool. Yeah. But maybe without J-pop, there's no K-pop. Maybe. Right. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. All right. So. Um, we're gonna give you guys uh, suggestions of like the current type of mm-hmm. J-pop. Mm-hmm. So like really upbeat, mm-hmm. and some of these songs are. Mm-hmm. 
Chase oh. the Chance. Yeah, Chase the Chance by Namie Amuro. Mm-hmm. And then Pom 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 by Carrie Pami Pami. Mm-hmm. And Chocolate Disco by Perfume. If you guys find these on YouTube, mm-hmm. even the music videos are like mm-hmm. so Japanese. So Japanese. Kawaii. Yes, yes, dancing. yes. Dancing. So we mentioned um, Kyari Pamu Pamu when we mm-hmm. talked about Dekora. Dekora, yeah. Um, subculture. So yeah. I don't know, lack of a better word, very girly, yeah. colorful. Colorful. Right? Again, like kawaii yes, looking. Yes, yes, Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah, J-pop. Yep. Next one. We yep. have Japanese rock or J rock. J rock. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So it started in the 1960s, mm-hmm. um, heavily heavily influenced by American and British rock. Mm-hmm. But like with every type of rock music, there's so many sub genres. Yeah, right? and I feel like Japanese rock they do it really, really well. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, I don't know, it's arguably, I like it better than Western rock, rock music. Oh, really? Right? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so there's all these so- sub-genres, mm-hmm. punk rock, heavy mm-hmm. metal, mm-hmm. hardcore punk. Mm-hmm. You guys call it? Metalcore. Metalcore. Yeah. Melodic. Melodic. Uh, core, core, yeah, melodic hardcore, yeah, melodic hardcore sound. Um, yeah. They have the alternative indie type, mm-hmm. glam rock, mm-hmm. like Visual K. Mm-hmm. We talked about Visual K when we talked about uh, one of the episodes, one of the subcultures, yeah. yeah. Um, Emoi, no, no, not no, no, the which one was it? Sorry, the. <laughs> The gothic, uh, yeah, 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 gothic Rolita, right? Yes. So, because mm-hmm. really they're, made they're up, looks like a right, yeah, visual K band, and uh, everyone listens to it. Everyone, yeah, right, everyone, young and old, yeah. A lot of J Rock fans mm-hmm. travel too. Yep, yep, right? yep. So some, we'll just name some of the artists or mm-hmm. some of the bands mm-hmm. that you guys should search. Mm-hmm. We have Bizu. Bizu, and that's yep. like maybe like a older, older like band. '90s rock okay. group, g- okay. rock team. Yeah, mm-hmm. just two of them. And then High Standard. Mm-hmm. It's this is rock, but more like punk rock, like metalcore. We call. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they they only sing English, but I uh, I let John to listen. He didn't understand any <laughs> lyrics. No, no, no. <laughs> so it's very. Japanese English, uh-huh. but do you understand? I do understand because of like we. I was listening to this like when I was like teenager. So it's the you understand because it's like the Japanese pronunciation, exactly. right? Exactly. But how they're singing it, I I picked up on a few words, uh, but yeah, the pronunciation is not the greatest. No, <laughs> no. And uh, X Japan, X Japan, one of my favorite. Mm-hmm. They're so cool. Mm-hmm. It's more like. Looks like heavy metal band. Okay. But it's really rock. Okay. And super cool. And this is like, I even went to see them in Toronto here okay. a couple years ago. It's called Baby Metal. Baby Metal. And they, is, they are a very interesting group. Yes. <coughs> so, because, mm-hmm. yeah. Ruske put me on to Baby Metal. Very mm-hmm. interesting. Because mm-hmm. it's like an idol group almost. Mm-hmm. For our listeners, let's describe an idol group. Very young, young girls, girls, um, like wearing like mini skirt, girl band. Yeah, right. Like yep. I guess, um, influenced by the Spice Girls for sure. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. back then, right? Like mm-hmm. it's a girl pop group. Yeah, um, with the Japanese spice into it. Yes, <laughs> I mean kawaii spice. Yeah, kawaii spice. Um, a lot of dancing, yep. like set moves to the songs Mm -hmm. very poppy Mm -hmm. but baby metal is really interesting because the band Mm -hmm. like the music the back band yeah the back band they're real heavy metal uh musicians heavy 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 metal right like if you look at the baby metal 
group, the three mm-hmm. ladies, ladies, you wouldn't think that they're it's gonna be that sound singing on top mm-hmm. of like hardcore, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. really hardcore, too hardcore for me, t- to be honest. <laughs> right? Really, but they sing and dance kind of kawaii, yeah, to this hardcore, yeah, metal music. Yep. So I think the the style of like I'm much with the 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 cute girls with heavy heavy sound Mm -hmm. it's like new yeah right (laughs) no one think it's gonna be a good one exactly so that juxtaposition makes it very interesting Mm -hmm. yeah you wouldn't think it's good but i think i guess these the back band they are really acclaimed heavy metal musicians in their own right yeah yeah and i think i i i know one time because the back band uh, members sometimes they change they okay. all wearing like a white like a yukata okay so they they looks like a ghost like a yes. japanese ghost and they even paint the white face paint the white face or they wear like these scary masks yeah right yeah and then one time i think one of uh famous heavy metal guitarist from us mm-hmm. he was joined that too oh wow okay yeah. Yeah, very international, right? Very international. So yeah. when you saw them here, it was here? It was here in Toronto. What yeah. was the demographics of the, the crowd? It was like, I was surprised. Like, it's more like a rock type of people. Okay. I thought it's going to be more, you know, like uh, otaku people. Like idol, otaku idol fans loves, and stuff like no, that. No, yeah. it was like true music lovers. Interesting. Yeah. Mostly Japanese people? No, or? no. Mostly like the the people here like western ev- western yeah, yeah white really people multicultural yeah multicultural people really yeah Interesting. and everybody was like rocking okay you know b- uh head banging uh-huh. was this mosh pit yeah oh yeah i was on the second floor so i was sitting but uh i i look at the hall mm-hmm. everybody was like crazy really yeah that's it was so cool. funny yeah yeah because baby metal the um, the three singers mm-hmm. how old are they now i think now they're like 20s okay but when they started they were like like teenager like ari teenager interesting yeah, yeah. okay mm-hmm. um and we have one more mm-hmm. um it's japanese hip-hop japanese or j hip-hop. hip-hop i suppose anything mm-hmm. j means japanese now mm-hmm. um so how did it start mm-hmm it started in the 1980s. Yeah. The, his name is Hiroshi Fujiwara. Okay. He went to UK, mm-hmm. 1982. Mm-hmm. Then uh, he got, he went to for the uh, Sex Pistols and those music mm-hmm. to figure out. And then he got introduced by uh, one of the guy to go to New York. Because okay. hip hop is getting popular in New York that time. Okay. And he went to New York, 83, 84. Mm-hmm. And then he got obsessed about hip hop. Mm-hmm. He brought back in Japan. And then he became the DJ. Like the first DJ. First DJ. Hip hop DJ. Hip hop DJ. Uh-huh. He was even scratching okay. record. Okay. And he's that still popular. That yeah. was new back then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. he, yeah, he's obviously for music and especially like hip hop is also about fashion as well yeah it's so it's like uh, the whole culture yeah so yeah. he's the icon of like street fashion and okay. music yeah like a lot of the japanese street brands yeah work with him right work with him like collaborate with him mm-hmm. even still now on. right yeah so i i think uh, people consider him like the godfather of japanese street fashion street fashion yeah for right? sure for sure yeah um yeah, Japanese hip hop. I guess when I first, or when I think of Japanese hip hop, I think more like the '80s old school mm-hmm. type style. Mm-hmm. But now it's evolved, just like with hip hop nowadays. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, it's almost like pop music now, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so who are some popular artists of mm-hmm. Japanese hip hop? Uh, it's called Rhyme Star. It's a group, right? It's a group, like three of them. I used to listen. It's, it's really, they mostly sing in, in Japanese. Okay. It's really cool lyrics and... I think like, because uh, I feel like not every language works well mm-hmm. for rapping. Yeah. But Japanese works well. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, it works well. Yeah. And then another group called King Ghidra. King Ghidra. Yeah. They're they're popular. I think they all the all the group they're now separate. Mm-hmm. Uh one each, mm-hmm. but they're still popular. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're like solo artists now, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the other one called Schadalapa. They're also very Japanese type of hip hop. Okay. So it's it sounds like not like uh American hip hop. Okay. Yeah. So like they sing only in Japanese as well. Okay. So it's like pop hip hop. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, make sure you guys search this one. Mm-hmm. And um, mm-hmm. we also have Ko. Ko. That's John's favorite. <laughs> one. one of my favorite Japanese yeah. rappers. I, th- I think it's like more like trap. Yeah. Right? You got that influence now. Yeah. And um, an artist we found, mm-hmm. uh, we really like. He's mm-hmm. from New York. Mm-hmm. I think he's like a hafu. Mm-hmm. Which in Japan, when you say hafu, it means... Means half Japanese, half something. Yeah, right. The yeah nationality. So he's a mixed rapper, mm-hmm. Japanese American mm-hmm. from New York, mm-hmm. and we like him because we feel like he transitions between English mm-hmm. rapping and Japanese, Japanese rapping like really well. Really well. It's like seamless. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he kind of has like an old school rapper, battle rapper vibe too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Miyachi. Miyachi. Yeah. Yeah, he, even, he even he uh, even singing about family man. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's it? What, right? What's it called? I think it's called family family rap. Yeah. Yeah. Family yeah. rap. That's yeah. the song called. It's so cool. Yeah. Right. I love it. Um. All right. So this does it for the music genres that are so Japanese. Mm-hmm. If uh, you feel like we missed any, yeah. please let us know. Yeah. And. Um, I guess we can do a part two. Yeah. Um, Cause we probably have missed some. Mm-hmm. And as well as if um, you want to share some of your favorite Japanese artists that we didn't share, let mm-hmm. us know as well. Yep. Please. This brings us to our Pera Pera Onomatope segment, mm-hmm. musical instrument edition. Wow. So again, uh, Japan has more than 4,000 onomatopoeias. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, all the words are like always doubled up, mm-hmm. right? Um, so we're gonna, um, I'm gonna say the sound or the instrument. Yep. And Ryusuke will say the say that in Japanese. Japanese. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what do you guys say for like a clapping sound? Clapping. Yeah. Patch 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 patch. Yep. Patch patch. How about for maracas? Shaka shaka. Shaka shaka. Yeah. Drums. Don don, don don. Yep. Guitar. Jaka jaka. Jaka jaka. Yep. Uh, harp. Prong prong. Prong prong. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. The other ones, I don don Okay. Yeah. Guitar. Uh-uh. Uh, yeah, but prong prong, I get that. Uh-huh. Okay. Tambourine. Shan shan. Shan shan. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. Uh, whistling sound. P p. P P yeah, and bell, ling 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 ling. Okay, yep. I think that's everywhere. I suppose. Yeah, ring yep. ring ling 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 ling. But All right, ling 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 ling. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, let us know as well if you guys are liking this um, new segment. Mm-hmm. Pera pera onomatope. Yeah, and uh, we'll share more. Sure. So this does it for today's episode. I mm-hmm. uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Again, it was kind of hard to describe, describe music, music without playing the yeah. music, yeah. right? But I hope uh, it intrigued you guys enough for you guys to search yourselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, please rate, review, and subscribe wherever you find our podcast. Hi. Um, follow all our social media. Mm-hmm. And we say it all the time. Mm-hmm. Give us more suggestions. Hi. The list is getting long, though, but... Again, we've been doing, I think we've been doing a good job, like Mm -hmm. taking on the suggestions and actually doing them, right? Sure. And um, keep an eye out on us when Mm -hmm. we go live on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Uh, We've done it a couple times already. 
So mm -hmm. anytime Ruski and I meet up to record, mm -hmm. we'll go on TikTok Live, 15 minutes, half an hour. Yeah, depending on how yeah how many people join are. us. Yeah, um, we'll have some Japanese snacks. Yep. Some of the Japanese snacks that we'll have, we talked about in the snack episode. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just for us to meet our listeners, mm -hmm. um, give you guys an opportunity to ask us questions about us, mm -hmm. about the podcast, about mm -hmm. the language. Yep. Um, also, we'll take on suggestions. Yep. And yeah, so hope to see you on our TikTok live. Yep. Arigato. Arigato. Bye-bye.